everybody! I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to the channel. And are you ready for a crossover which makes so much sense, but I genuinely didn't think would happen? Avengers Infinity War meets Fortnite, and you get to be Thanos. Not clickbait. So tomorrow, on May 8th, Thanos is going to use the good old reality stone in his gauntlet to come on over to the Fortnite side of things, and he's going to actually be a playable character inside of his own special limited-time event called Infinity Gauntlet. And what's interesting about that, just from a Marvel fanboy side of things, uh, Infinity Gauntlet is actually the title that Gamora, or Zoe Saldana, actually leaked during an interview last year when she was talking about filming Infinity War, and then we go back later this year for Infinity Gauntlet. So this might be a good inkling that the film number four for Avengers is going to have the same title. And the best thing about all of this is we don't have to wait until tomorrow to even find out what he looks like. If you have a look at the image on the screen right now, this was posted to the Fortnite Twitter. It's captioned, the battle begins tomorrow, followed by an ellipses. And you can just simply see the Omega on the left-hand side, which is of course our level 100 skin for this season, and also Thanos side by side. And given the art style, the blending, the shadows, the composition of the character, I'm inclined to believe that this is exactly how Thanos will look in-game. It just looks looks really spot on. I don't think I recognise it from any promotional pieces for the movie. But the one part that really worries me is uh, in the background there, you can see the word snap. And I'm going to try and steer away from spoilers, but what I will say is I don't think it will have the same effect in the game as it does in the movie. I just think that would be horrendously OP. Because obviously we've had games in the past like Call of Duty, which have like a nuke that you can drop when you get over a certain number of kills, and that literally ends the game instantly. I don't see that happening, and I also don't see what happens in the film happening here either. I just don't think it would be fair. And from how Entertainment Weekly's article is read, it does seem like it's going to be a 1 versus 99 situation. So Solos mode is where we're going to be playing this. So I just loaded up a Thanos page over on a Marvel Cinematic Universe wiki page. The link will be in the description for you. And I'm basically just going to go through all the powers and see if any of them would work well inside of Fortnite and how they might apply them. So first and foremost, immortality. That's not going to happen. If it's a case of out of the 100 people, whoever finds the gauntlet just instantly wins the game because they're unkillable, not going to be fun. The next one, however, is superhuman strength. So I'm wondering if this is basically going to mean that for the entirety of the game, when you're wearing the gauntlet, you could potentially jump around with the hop rocks because that is a feat of strength to push yourself off of the earth and glide through the air. I just think it would be a nice little use of the hop rock mechanic, but for a singular player at all times. And just to add on to that as well, I don't believe that superhuman strength will buff his abilities in any kind of way. What I am interested to see, though, is what the ability itself will be. I don't know if it's a case of you grab the Infinity Gauntlet, it automatically equips and it doesn't fill up a slot on your hotbar, or is this going to be a usable item? Are we going to have some kind of, like, melee attack that we use? Like, could it be, like, Doomfist, where he can just charge forwards and just punch somebody right in the schnoz? That will remain to be seen. So the second one right here says superhuman durability. So... Is he going to have a larger health pool than most people would normally have? Is it a case of once you pick up the gauntlet, you're instantly granted, boom, snap again. <laughs> you're instantly granted 100 armor, just as a little, like, get-go. Because obviously if everybody is looking at Thanos, everybody's firing on Thanos, if you run over and grab the gauntlet, that is just going to be a bullet shower. Like, you need some kind of way of surviving it and also getting out of the way. So at the moment, 100 armor added automatically and some jumping around doesn't seem that far off. Superhuman reflexes. Not entirely sure they can do much with that. That's almost just like a bit of a spidey sense. He's pretty quick to react to stuff. That's more going to be down to the player than it is to the actual character itself. Superhuman speed. Now, I don't think that this is going to be anything dramatic. I don't think it's going to be anything too crazy. I think we might see Thanos get a speed boost of maybe like 125 to 150%. That's the extent that I see them pushing it. If they did it to 200 or more, I think it would be ridiculous. You just couldn't land any shots. So I guess now we talk about what each Infinity Stone actually brings to the table inside of Thanos' gauntlet. So, of course, when he has all six of them, he becomes nigh omnipotent. I think is how it's pronounced. Uh, and that's basically a big culmination of all of them. And he is is basically almost invincible. The second one, however, listed here is actually kind of interesting and it could work out quite nicely. Regenerative healing factor. So basically, over time, he would just generally heal up. As if he was using, say, like a campfire, they already have that status effect in the game. They have an item that can do that. Why not just have, at all times on Thanos, a campfire? The next one here is fly. Not going to happen. Again, Hop Rocks, I think, is the extent that they'll go with that. But I don't think he'll actually be able to soar and glide all over the place. Unless he could use his superhuman strength to launch upwards. And he can open his glider at any time. Like, he could jump off a cliff, press space bar again whilst midair, and open his glider out again. That would be ridiculous. I don't see it happening. 
So then energy projection has a lot of different things that it could do. So this is all done with a power stone. One of them, it says, a force field generator. So he can basically put an entire force field around himself. Or, I'm thinking of two other games of the same genre at the moment. Things like in the Darwin Project, you can literally bring out a huge force field, an arena, that can basically home everybody instantly. So if, you, if they're within like a, I would say, what? four or five tower radius you can plonk down a force field everybody's stuck inside that bubble and they are there for the picking so that's obviously to keep everybody inside the space and bring them more towards you how about if you want to repel them he's got a huge array of things right here he's got energy beams energy blasts energy bursts energy shock waves imagine all that sort of stuff that you could do a little bit of damage combined with the effectiveness of say an impulse grenade you could basically blast enemies away from you in that sort of style i'm just trying to think of more things that are already in the game and how they could be applied to mimic these types of things. This next one would be really interesting, actually. So, element absorption and transmutation. Essentially, what it says here is that he can basically get loads of attacks thrown his way. He can basically absorb them all, put them into a slightly more condensed, more powerful form, and push it immediately back out. So, if everybody is firing on this one guy on the surfer, he's got a little something to retaliate with. Or maybe even at an absolute stretch, he could basically, like, punch forwards, and, like, a trail would come out of it. Like, like a cool, like, purple beam would sort of soar out of it and towards the enemies. Space manipulation is listed next and that is just going to be an absolute no-go can you imagine if he could just like teleport to different places create portals use telekinesis to move things towards him like loot and treasure and chess not going to happen i don't think we're going to have anything inside of this realm time manipulation again you can't really do it would be great for a single player mode or some kind of like save the world aspect of it but in terms of uh, multiplayer and fortnite battle royale there's not really much that you can do with time other than i don't know extend the time between the storm coming in but that's just not going to be a thing reality manipulation oh this one would hurt if there was anything like that inside of this game like what if you could just like point at an enemy and just change their gun into bubbles or like you know <laughs> basically just make their glider go poof gone and they just fall to the earth that would be stupidly funny but also horrific to go up against so what we just spoke about there probably best falls under the category of matter transmutation changing one inanimate object into another making it seemingly harmless or just a little bit lesser and beneath that is listed biological manipulation so he uses this in a variety of different ways in the movie things like changing somebody to basically be spaghetti essentially he can basically change biological beings and living things into different shapes so how about that maybe combined with some of the timey-wimey stuff he could point at an enemy and slow them down. What if he could get rid of their jump height? What if he could slow down their run speed? All these other things could be thrown in there. Just beneath that, we've got Earth Manipulation. What's to say that he can't just basically erect something out of the ground just instantly? Like, what if he had the, essentially the equivalent of a portal fort, but he didn't need any materials to make it? And I guess on the flip side of that, he also has the ability of dematerialization. He can literally tear down structures, things, beings, whatever, in a single swift motion. So imagine he walks up to your portal fort. Imagine he walks over to your giant fortress that you've John whipped into existence. One snap, one punch, one connection, and the whole thing just crumbles. Soul manipulation is listed next and there are two major points inside of this so the first one is death inducement so obviously he can snap his fingers and kill stuff <laughs> really trying to not spoil anything here uh, so how about potentially if Thanos every so often there was a cooldown where he could snap his fingers and whoever was in a certain radius of him died like maybe that would make you want to stay further away from him who knows the second one here is soul detection so basically Thanos can use the soul stone to see people's souls he can um, like sense them around him so how about hear me out on this one in the replay mode we have various different options we can toggle and one of them is being able to see an outline around the character how about having that but inside of the game mode maybe even again could be on a cooldown on the gauntlet just to have that line of sight of where all of the enemies lie i could sit and speculate about this stuff all afternoon long but i've got to get this video out to you guys i need to go eat live stream sleep also tomorrow comes around just a little bit quicker and that's where i'm going to leave it off in the comment section below i want to know what you guys think what abilities do you think thanos is going to have how long do you think the event will be and more importantly do you think we're going to see any more crossovers in regards to the infinity war movie later on this season and do you think we're going to see Iron Man, Hulk, Spider-Man and the rest? We all thought it was a no, but seemingly not. Apparently them and Marvel get along like a house on fire. Even in the Entertainment Weekly article as well, it turns out that the Russo brothers, between shooting different things for the film, they actually play Fortnite themselves. So I think that's where we should leave it for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. In the comment section below, I'm handing off the question to you. What do you think is going to happen? What can Thanos do? How long is the event going to be? 
everything. I just want to know what you guys think. I love speculating and I love theorizing about stuff like this. Be sure to check out all my other Fortnite videos. They'll appear on the screen in just a moment's time. Leave a like on the video if you watched this far. And of course, the moment this event drops tomorrow, I'll record a video, get that straight out, and I'll be straight on live stream to just spend the whole day playing it. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch already, then that is a thing you can also do. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.